Yeah. Oh. It's like oh, I haven't seen you since the last tour. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it it it, it gets crazy. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm so good. It's my first CMA fest. You're kind of laid back a little bit. You Am know? I? Yeah. Like vibes. Yeah, laid just kind of like a chill vibe going well, on. Well, it's a. Uh, I thought it would be way crazier, but I feel pretty chill. Good. And especially up here, like when you're on Broadway, yeah, my anxiety is way higher. But when yeah. I'm up here and there's AC. Mm. I'm just chatting. The AC is the key. The AC I'm is telling key. you. I am not well in the heat. I am, <laughs> I am a Canadian and I'm cold all the time up there. So, yeah. This, this skin is not thick enough. Yeah. I'm, it, it, I keep my house at about 72 degrees. That's where I like it. Oh. And every now and then, it's pretty hot. And I, this is the way I am. And my daughter, every now and then, she tor- turn it down to like 69, 68. I'm walking around in freaking full well, everything. Well, my husband uh, has it at 65. How do you deal with I that? I don't. I'm wearing <laughs> a camel sweatsuit every day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can relate. It, it's just the way it is. Yeah. It's crazy as I'll get out. Allie Walker, everybody, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian, I didn't even pick up. There's like, you've got like no Canadian accent. Well, thank you. Sometimes when I say out, it, I don't say it like that. Out. I say out. Yeah. Out. About, and, and and that's probably the only word that'll get you. But I've lived in Toronto and I'm from Prince Edward Island, which mm-hmm. is on the East Coast. And I lived in BC. And I don't know. I just, I, I got rid of it, I guess. Yeah. Well, we was, I was actually having a discussion with a guest on the show. And we were talking about the differences and how people can be English, Irish, Australian, Mm -hmm. but when they sing, it's all different. Yes. And I've been told, why do you have an accent when you sing? But it's like, (laughs) I am not throwing on like a Southern, Southern accent, but it's just, it's country music and it's reflections. And I used to sing like opera and you'd have to learn German and Italian and I'm not, you you have to sing it properly. Right. In the right dialect. I've always wanted to go to an opera. Yeah. I have not made it yet. I can't say I have either other than when I went to school for it. That is wild. Yeah. It was more classical than opera. So. Yeah, but that helped your voice out so much. The, the training and everything that they teach you. It kind of confused me, actually, because you sing in, like, your head voice. Mm-hmm. So I had to build, like, my low timbre. No. Yeah, and now yeah. like I pretty much sing all my songs in like my speaking voice, mostly because um, when I'm waking up at 5 a.m. for a radio interview, I want to be able to sing it. Yeah. Maybe hungover, maybe tired from. Yeah, the show well, you before. never know. <laughs> we just played eight hours somewhere else. Yeah. So here's the. Let's rasp. do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There was dirt on us. I like that song. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just put that song out. I, I actually just signed a record deal and publishing deal in the last few months. And because awesome. of that, I got to write with um, the incredible roster at Sony Music Pub. Mm-hmm. Um, and that writing session, I walked in. I hadn't looked up the writers that I was going to write with that day. Yeah. And I was pretty open to whatever was going to happen. Uh, I didn't realize after I wrote the song, I looked them up that uh, Lindsey Rhymes, one of the co-writers was on his like 13th week at number one on the radio mm-hmm. with, with Nate Smith. Yeah. But see, if you'd have figured that out before you walked in there, it might've been yeah. a little bit intimidating. Yeah. I was super laid back. We had the funnest time. We got it done in like three hours. They actually just used the demo as the song that I put out. They like upgraded some of the instrumentation, but like this, I sang into one of these on the couch, and that's just the vocal, which is so cool because they can do that. They're so talented. So working with, like, incredible writers like John Knight, Lindsey Rhymes lately, have my my life's been very different. Oh, yeah. (laughs) it's Has it turned into the whirlwind yet? Yeah. I'm trying to, like, soak it all in. I've been developing and doing this for 15 years, and I've never had a single manager, record label, anything. Not a single person on my team. So the whirlwind is having other people involved. Yeah, it is. It really is. And and I love doing everything. Like, I do all my own covers for the cover art. I usually edit my own music videos. I do all my own social media. I edit my website. So to, like, give... Some people, some of those things has been difficult being a perfectionist, but oh, it's yeah. nice. Oh, I feel you because 
when I started the show and everything, I was doing everything myself, mm -hmm. self-producing. Yeah. Then I get Caitlin. Yeah. And it was hard as all get out, but I couldn't, I couldn't just hand stuff over to anybody. Yeah. And Caitlin's one of those girls that just, she kicks ass everything she yes. tries to do. And I was worried to heck to have a manager for the first time. Oh yeah. If you're like me. It pisses you off when people tell you to do something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try to be open. Like, I wanted a manager that was, you know, not going to grow with me, but, like, had already been in the industry for a long time and can right. open doors that I've been knocking on for forever, and that's exactly what I have. Oh, yeah. So I respect his opinion on Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes when you're independent and you're knocking on a door, you feel like a, a little two-year-old beating on the door for Halloween. Oh, my God. You know, and then... I was getting to the point where I was like, I can't knock on doors anymore by mm -hmm. myself. Um, and I, was, I wasn't going to give up because it was way too far in this to give up. But yeah. I was like, I don't know where to go from here. And then that's when I met my manager six months ago and my whole life has changed. Oh, yeah. It opened up so much stuff for you. And you get that more freedom, too. Yeah. I mean, he takes some stuff off my plate for sure. Oh, yeah. You can sit back and breathe a little bit. A little bit. But now it's like go time. <laughs> well, we've been putting songs out like every six weeks and then the second I put a song out we're already like promoting the next song or the music video for it's already needing to be recorded or yeah it's crazy uh, what I love though is with everything that's going on right now the technology and all the stuff it don't cost a million dollars to do a no. video anymore and we're not doing like full music videos because those can be a bajillion dollars. Oh, yeah. You just need a piece of video content. Yeah. And it's not a million dollars to do that anymore. No. Because I started a thing on the show. Uh, I did it with Taylor Hughes and Crystal King, two great writers here in Nashville and artists. And uh, what I've started doing is songs from the couch. Mm -hmm. You come hang out on the couch. We'll eat. We'll drink some bourbon if you want yeah. to. And just sing some songs and have some yeah. fun. Seriously, that's all, like, it's, people just want to see what's going on. Yeah, that's it. And I think they want the reality of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the biggest part, is if you're doing too many pieces on social media that are, like, promotional, mm -hmm. the fans can tell. Yeah, and they, they, they tune it out. Yeah. Because it's not real. Yeah, exactly. They want that whole real. They would prefer an iPhone camera to, like, a proper. It's strange. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> algorithms and, and, oh, and this know. and that and everything else it, it's just nuts yeah i like big trucks yeah and i cannot lie and i love that video because <laughs> i'm an old school big truck guy yeah and i drive big trucks for a living right but that's a different kind of big truck right <laughs> hey that's a still big truck no yeah, but you can't go mudding with it no you can't now that truck was brought in by a gentleman and my manager found him on facebook mm -hmm. in like a big truck yeah facebook and he drove it down from like missouri just for the video it didn't like he was just excited that his truck was going to be in exactly the that's and all I they need that. i love that i was so nice that they came all the way down for that right. but then of course people think it's my truck and then i don't it's not because then i went to a now you need to get one <laughs> yeah but I have a Dodge. Like, it's all in the Do or Ram family. Yeah. Um, but then I had a brand new soup. It was like a $120,000 truck in my next video. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see that one. I haven't seen that one yet. That's dirt on us. That's dirt on us? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the video for that. It just came out on Friday. I just listened to it. Okay. No, I didn't hear dirt. Yeah, dirt on us. I did listen to that. That was just the other day I listened to that. Oh, well, I'm trying to figure everything out. Oh, my God. Just, You're interviewing 10 million other artists. I just be, I would just say, what's your favorite color? <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> tell you right now. <laughs> I really couldn't tell you. But I do appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Please tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on AllieWalker.com, A-L-L-I, mm -hmm. no E, no Y. Um, social media, I am on TikTok and Instagram every damn day. Cause you gotta. Yeah, no, I ain't gotta. <laughs> you ain't. Gotta. I ain't gotta. I spent a lot of time on on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, cool. But I actually enjoy it. Like I found more people are going towards Instagram these days, and it, I'm not mad at it. It's wild. Like Instagram for me is popping off more than TikTok. Yeah. Which is great. 
No, it's crazy. Yeah, and it's a easier platform to use, in my opinion. I mean, I still love you, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok really pop shit off for, for not shit. Uh, uh, what shit? <laughs> that shit. Okay, got TikTok it. TikTok really helped me a lot, actually. <laughs> they, that TikTok, people go on TikTok to listen with sound, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. Instagram, and, and sometimes they're just scrolling. It's all about that realism part, though. Yeah. It really is. Allie, I totally appreciate you being on the show. Thank you for having me. All right. And we'll see everybody soon. Check out Ali Walker's stuff. Y'all are going to love it, especially the Creek song. I love the Creek song, the Big Truck song. Hey, <laughs> just listen to her stuff. You'll love all of it. We'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you, Allie. Thank we'll see you. you. Thanks Bye-bye. so much. Thank you.